In this video, we'll be going over the five hottest NVIDIA news stories of the week. Biggest AI training system, massive funding of OpenAI, potential antitrust probe, next-gen chip challenges, and a huge stock buyback. Let's kick things off with Elon Musk's latest venture into the world of AI. The billionaire entrepreneur has just unveiled what he claims is the most powerful AI training system in the world. Called Colossus, this supercomputer is based in Memphis, Tennessee, and boasts a staggering 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. Now that's a lot of processing power, but what's really impressive is how quickly they put this beast together. Musk tweeted that the entire system was assembled in just 122 days. That's like building a skyscraper in the time it takes most people to learn how to cook a decent omelet. But here's where it gets interesting. Musk isn't stopping there. He's planning to double the size of Colossus to 200,000 GPUs in the coming months, adding another 50,000 NVIDIA H200 GPUs to the mix. Now, I've got to say, this is some serious flexing in the AI world, but let's break down what this actually means. Each NVIDIA H100 GPU typically costs around $30,000. So doing some quick math, we're looking at a price tag of at least $3 billion for the initial setup. And that's not even counting the electricity and cooling costs, which are probably enough to power a small country. Let's move on to our second big story of the week. The company behind ChatGPT is looking to raise some serious cash, and they've caught the attention of some heavy hitters in the tech world. OpenAI is reportedly in talks for a new funding round that would value the company at over $100 billion. Yes, you heard that right, $100 billion. That's more than the GDP of some small countries. But here's where it gets really interesting. NVIDIA, the very company whose chips are powering all these AI advancements, is considering jumping into the mix. They've reportedly discussed investing about $100 million in OpenAI. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it pretty fascinating that NVIDIA is potentially investing in a company that's one of their biggest customers but NVIDIA isn't the only tech giant eyeing OpenAI. Apple and Microsoft are also reportedly in talks to participate in this funding round. Microsoft, of course, is already OpenAI's biggest backer, having invested around $13 billion. And Apple, well, they're playing catch up in the AI game and are looking to OpenAI to help weave AI into the next version of iOS. This level of interest from the biggest names in tech really highlights just how crucial OpenAI has become to the industry. It's like watching a high-stakes poker game where everyone wants a piece of the pot. But it also raises some interesting questions about competition and market dominance. With so much money and influence concentrated in one place, will we see more innovation or just a consolidation of power? But hold on because our third story suggests that regulators might be asking similar questions. NVIDIA found itself in the spotlight this week for a different reason, a potential antitrust investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice. Now, this is where things get a bit murky. Initially, Bloomberg reported that NVIDIA had received a subpoena from the DOJ as part of an antitrust probe. However, NVIDIA quickly fired back, stating that they had not, in fact, received a subpoena. A company spokesperson said, we have inquired with the U.S. Department of Justice and have not been subpoenaed. Nonetheless, we are happy to answer any questions regulators may have about our business. So what's really going on here? Well, it seems the DOJ has been asking tech companies about NVIDIA's business practices in recent weeks. They're particularly interested in the company's hardware bundling practices and a recent acquisition of an Israeli company called Run AI for $700 million. Now, I've got to say, this kind of scrutiny isn't entirely surprising given NVIDIA's dominant position in the AI chip market. Some estimates put their market share between 70% and 95%. That's the kind of market dominance that tends to make regulators a bit nervous. But here's the thing. NVIDIA argues that their success is simply due to the quality of their products. They say they win on merit, as reflected in our benchmark results and value to customers who can choose whatever solution is best for them. And to be fair, they've been absolutely crushing it in terms of performance and innovation. However, the DOJ seems concerned that NVIDIA might be making it harder for customers to switch to other suppliers 
or penalizing those who don't exclusively use their AI chips. It's like if your favorite restaurant started giving you worse service because you occasionally eat at other places. Not cool, right? Now let's move on to our fourth story, which involves some behind the scenes drama with Nvidia's next generation chips. The company has been hyping up its new Blackwell architecture for months, promising it would arrive later this year. Well, later this year has arrived, and it seems NVIDIA is running into some speed bumps. During their Q2 earnings call, NVIDIA's CFO, Colette M. Kress, dropped a bit of a bombshell. She revealed that the company had to make a change to the Blackwell GPU mask to improve production yields. Now, for those of us who aren't chip engineers, this essentially means they had to tweak the design to get more usable chips out of each production run. CEO Jensen Huang tried to downplay the issue, stating, the change to the mask is complete. There were no functional changes necessary. But here's the thing. This kind of last minute adjustment is not typical, especially for a company as experienced as Nvidia. It suggests they ran into some unexpected challenges with this new architecture. Now I've got to say, this news makes me a bit nervous. Nvidia has been on such a hot streak lately, it's easy to forget that pushing the boundaries of technology is actually really hard. The Blackwell chips are using a new manufacturing process that involves connecting chiplets using something called LSI bridges. It's cutting edge stuff, and apparently it's proving to be trickier than expected. Finally, let's wrap up with our fifth story, which is all about Nvidia's plans to return some of its massive profits to shareholders. The company announced a whopping $50 billion stock buyback program alongside its Q2 earnings report. Now that's double the size of the $25 billion program they announced just a year ago. For those who aren't familiar with stock buybacks, it's essentially when a company uses its cash to purchase its own shares from the market. This reduces the number of outstanding shares, which can boost the stock price and increase earnings per share. It's a way for companies to return value to shareholders without paying dividends. Now, $50 billion is a serious chunk of change. To put it in perspective, it's about 1.7% of NVIDIA's entire market capitalization. This buyback program is tied for the third largest of the year, matching Meta's announcement. Only Apple and Alphabet have announced bigger ones. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite this massive buyback announcement and strong quarterly results, NVIDIA's stock actually fell after the earnings report. Some analysts think this is because investors have gotten used to NVIDIA absolutely crushing expectations and merely beating them by a small margin isn't enough anymore. I've got to say this reaction feels a bit like spoiled kids complaining about getting a Porsche instead of a Ferrari for their birthday. Nvidia's revenue grew 122% year over year to $30 billion and 400 million, and net income jumped 168% to $16 billion, $600 million. Those are numbers most companies can only dream of. But I guess when you're at the top, the only place to go is down. Nvidia has set the bar so high for itself that even stellar performance can be seen as a disappointment. It's a reminder of just how much expectation and hype is built into Nvidia's stock price right now. So, there you have it, the five biggest Nvidia stories of the week. Before we wrap up, I want to remind everyone that none of this is investment advice. The world of tech and AI moves fast, and what's true today might not be true tomorrow. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions. And hey, if you enjoyed this rundown of NVIDIA news, why not hit that subscribe button? Let me know in the comments which story you found most interesting. Until next time, keep your eyes on the chips and your mind on the future.